Hi, how you doing? Sam from Soundwaves along with my brother Joe. How are you? Uh, tonight we're here to, to talk about a Control 4 wireless outlet dimmer. Joe, why don't you tell me a little bit about this product? Well, with this product you can uh, add some dimming and you can add some lighting control to a Control 4 project very easily uh, with a Control 4 outlet, uh, wireless outlet dimmer. How exactly does that work? Well, the way it works is um, this device you plug it into a wall outlet. Okay. Um, plug any device that you want to control into the bottom. It's got two outlets, one okay. and two. Uh, and then this will communicate back to your main controller uh, wirelessly through Zigbee. So you're going to plug this box into an outlet and it's going to give you from a single to a dual outlet to plug in two devices and control them wirelessly, if I'm correct? Yeah, you can control them through the Control 4 system. Okay. Whether cool. through the on screen interface, you know, on your TV or through an iPad or iPod Touch or iPhone or 7-inch control panel from, from Control 4. Cool. How, how, does, it, uh, how does it do that? Because I can just plug in. So when I plug this into the wall, I just can plug a lamp into it and then it'll you plug be... A, you can plug a lamp into it. You can plug a TV into it. You can plug um, just about anything that you can control electrically that you want to turn on and off either remotely um, and it, it, it's a good way to get control of different things in the house. Wow, that's really um, cool. I mean, it's not as simple as just plug and play. Right. I mean, there are some configuration uh, on our end of it. After we plug it into the wall, we have to identify it into the system with the, with the identify button here. And then we would specify, you know, whether it's plugged into a lamp or light. Um, TV or, or whatever you, you know you want to control, and then your on-screen user interface will recognize it as one of those devices. Yeah, well, it'll it'll it's, it, it won't really recognize it that way. It will recognize it in a way. If we tell it it's a light, it will show up as a light. Right. So if it, if it, we tell it that it's uh, you know a TV, it's not necessarily going to show TV on there, but you know we can make it w with a cer certain icon. Cool. That's cool. And what else would you want to control? Um, uh, outdoor, if it's a, this is a dimmer, so you could actually dim the light. You okay. know, if you press and hold on the button, then you could dim it up or down. Uh, we can do outdoor landscape lighting with it. We would just simply use the, the outlet switch, because you would just want that on and off. Uh, and then we can set it up on a schedule so that, you know, at a certain time of the day, the landscape lights go on, you know, and then they shut off at, say, 1 a.m. So this, this module here being the dimmer one is really pretty much for lighting. And it's then really used for lighting. And yeah. then you have another box like this that's It looks identical, but it's just a switch. And it's just on and off. On and off, that's it. Cool. So those are two really hot devices from Control 4 that makes uh, wiring your house and well, having some... Let's, let's show how we use it. So I've done a little configuration with this one already. <clears throat> I've already programmed it in, into our Control 4 system. So I have an outlet strip here. So we can plug it into the, uh, the outlet strip. And then it'll power up, and once it powers up, the radio will communicate back to the control four. Um, so you have some little power controller. LED lights here. Yep. If you can see those. So I'll plug the lamp in here. We'll plug it into uh, number one, because that's the one I've already configured. And then uh, I'm just going to use my iPhone. So I've, I've already plugged it into, into our system. Uh, we could even do it on one of our on-screen interfaces here on on the um, on any of our stations here, just bringing by bringing up the Control 4 menu with the on-screen. And if I go to a certain room that we put it in, no, let's see here. Switch to that room, and then if I go to the lighting tab. I could simply turn the light on and off by using the, the on-screen interface. So if I go to the light, a little lamp here, I could turn it on and off. And because it's a dimmer, I can drag it, leave it, turn it up and down for dimming features. You know, I can't really see much with these lights, but if I leave it at, you know, say 60%, 40%, you can see that the light is still on. Or if I just tap it once, I can shut it off. So we can turn different devices on and off throughout the house. Again, put, put a lamp on a schedule so that 
you know, at five o'clock or, you know, at sundown every night, a certain lamp turns on in the house, you know, light the entryway right. so that when you enter the house, it's not dark. Um, or randomize it to make it look like somebody's home when you're on vacation. Cool. But it's an easy way to add lighting control without having to change, you know, the dimmer in the wall. Right. Or, you know, or a light switch that's in the wall. Simply plug it in, plug whatever device you want to control into it. And and away you go. Yep. Great. And we have to do a little programming. That's about it. Awesome. Well, another great solution from Control 4, their wireless outlet dimmer and switch. If you have any questions, give us a call or stop by at Soundwaves or check out our website, www.sound-waves.com. Thanks.